I'm going to show you how to place an artwork that you've created for t-shirts onto um, our product um, Photoshop layers. Um, so to explain that a bit further, um, I've opened up this PNG um, image which is um, a piece of artwork that I created um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we're going to put this onto uh, a male t-shirt, a female t-shirt, a hoodie and a flat um, image as well. So this is the, the main piece of artwork, as you can see, it's um, pretty big, when you get down to it. So um, I'm going to literally drag and drop this, there's probably a much quicker way of doing this, but I'll show you the, the sort of the simple route. Um, so I'm going to drag and drop this onto my flat PSD piece of artwork, which is here. Let's minimise that so I can get it to the right scale. Go. Don't be too fussy about it, but because obviously you want to see all the artwork. So let's pop that there. Okay, so it should be like that. Okay, so you can quite happily close this one down now, your original piece of artwork, because you don't want to mess with it. Um, so let's close that down. Now, working from this one, I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it onto men's PSD. Which is here. Um, now that's not in the right, uh, actually it has dropped itself in the right place, but you can see that we have all our shadows and highlights um, up here and then the artwork is down here. So let's drop that on there, that's fine. I'll just uh, delete this, we don't need that. And then I'll scale this until we're happy that it's the right place um, and looks good on the t-shirt. So I want this one to be quite large, a nice large graphic. So about here looks pretty good to me. So that's that one. I'm going to save that. And then we'll go back to our flat again. Drag this onto the ladies. Again, it has dropped it in the right place. You've got the shading and the shadows up here. Um, and then you've got the artwork here. Also, um, I guess the point is to show you that um, you can choose the colour of the t-shirt you want. So if you don't want it on white, we can have it on blue, probably be quite cool, um, grey, yellow, and so on. So when you're, I mean, you might have already decided what colour the t-shirt wants to go on, but um, if you haven't, then um, you can choose this way and see which way the design looks the best. Um, be wary of black though because sometimes colours don't pop out on black the way that you'd wish them to um, so yeah just be kind of um, reasonably careful what, what you throw onto a black t-shirt um, this one obviously the black sinks into the black if that's the way you want it then that's okay but um, I prefer this one on a nice plain white t-shirt so the image sticks out and it's really bold so we'll resize this one to much the way, same way we resize the men's one and I'm going to hop that up a little bit, and about there, okay? And now the hoodie, if you do a hoodie, not all designs will work on a hoodie, um, but if you think it will, then take it up to the, your hoodie PSD. Oh, I've got one on here already, I shall drop that there. Um, Okay, I'll just shift it up so it's roughly in the right place. But the, what you have with the hoodie is you have obviously the toggles of the hoodie, which are here and here. Now, those need to be over the top of the artwork. So, first of all, let me delete um, the old artwork and then drop the new artwork into the artwork folder. Now, you can see that it's dropped behind the toggles, which is exactly what you want. Um, this isn't going to work on a black hoodie, so I'm going to go down to the colours which are here, and I'm going to choose, I think, for this one. Do you know what? I It would probably work fine on a grey, but I'm going to put it on white. So when we do white, let me just close this up again, we need to actually take the artwork, let me hide this, into the slightly grey folder. It should really be white, but slightly grey is probably closer. So I'll open that up. I'll drag this into the artwork, white artwork folder. There we go. And then I will show the slightly grey folder here. Close the original folder up here. Um, 
uh, basically I'm going to hide everything that's not part of the the, the sorry the, the white artwork. So there we go. So everything's hidden. There you go. Except for the white stuff. So the, the white again, or the slightly grey rather, is exactly the same as the stuff above, but we have the um, toggles, which are white here, and then um, we have the artwork underneath. There we go. It's slightly confusing, I know, but um, you kind of get the hang of it because if you're showing slightly grey, then you're showing the white hoodie, and if you're showing colour, you're showing the main hoodie, um, he says, although I've just lost it. Uh, um, Photoshop can be very confusing sometimes. But anyway, just find it for you. The hoodie artwork, let's choose black again. There we go, it brings it all back. Green, blue, etc. And you can change the colour of the toggles to match by opening up the on top folder and one in there. Green, blue, there we go. Um, anyway, we want this one. So I'll display the slightly grey again. Okay. Um, as I say, hoodies are slightly more complex, but when you've done it a couple of times, you kind of get the hang of it really quickly. So now we have a flat, a hoodie, a ladies, and a men's tee. Now all you need to do is export those, put them in the same folder as your original PNG artwork. You should have a PNG, a men's, a ladies, a flat, and then maybe you'll have a hoodie if you decide that's the right thing to use. Okay, and you pass all those up, put them in a folder with the name of the t-shirt design on it, and you're off and away. That's it. Thank you.